Auntie! Wow, wow, wow! I can't believe you really found the catalog! Oh, so you found it, eh? <laughs> that was far easier than I expected. So, it's called the Catalog Obscura. And, ah, written in runes. Let's see. <laughs> Banty, you're amazing! Completely, totally, fantastically amazing! I'd expect nothing less from Fanti and its puppet soldiers. Yeah, but I still think it's amazing. I wish you could have seen it, Madam Granny. The puppet soldiers were really something! I understand now. The wardrobe and the catalog are both curio, hmm? It was so cool when they broke down the walls! Fanti went like, bam, bam, boom! You're much too loud! Pipe down for a bit, would you? S sorry <laughs> Looks like I landed in hot water, huh, Fanti? It appears that finding this catalog was quite the accomplishment. Well done. Madam? Madam Marta? My, my. The Count has returned. How about we head upstairs, dearie? Well, well. So you've returned, my lord. Madam, I expect you to respond immediately when you are called. This man is the master of Galeria Manor, Missy. Introduce yourself properly now, full name and all. I thought it was noisier than usual. So we have a guest, hmm? N nice to meet you. I'm Eureka, Eureka de Soleil. And? Get to it. Explain clearly why you're here. Uh, um, I'm here because I saw a flyer for a job. That's how I came to be in your service. <laughs> Excuse me, a flyer? Y yes sir! I saw this on a bulletin board in the town of Soleil. When I saw the requirements, I knew this was the job for me! <laughs> <sighs> Another one from Soleil? Madam, I can't have you pulling this nonsense again. Whatever do you mean? Besides a count, especially one of your standing, ought not penny pinch over one little missy. It hasn't been just one. It's been one after another. At this rate, it's sure to sully my noble name. I had you explore the labyrinth because I believed you to be a great witch. But it's been two weeks, and I have yet to see results. Well, before you say another word, take a look at this. It's a curio obtained from the labyrinth. So this is a curio. It seems to be a clumsily crafted piece. It's rough around the edges. And yet, it's true I feel... There's something about it, which charms the beholder. But how did you manage to get underground? Don't tell me you used that wardrobe. <laughs> That's right. We put a soul into the Lantern Day Phantasmagory and had it explore the labyrinth for us. With this and my puppet soldiers, I've managed to devise a plan that doesn't end with a mound of flesh in that wardrobe. Hmm. I assume that you used some manner of witchcraft to collect curio? I'll leave it at that. Yes, that's an accurate summary of the matter. This young girl here is our medium for the soul that dwells in the lantern. And what sort of power does this curio have? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like this one has any. When it comes to Curio, what I wish to acquire aren't objects of this trifling level. You do understand that, don't you, madam? <laughs> you call it trifling. But might I remind you, this is an object from the labyrinth, where no one has ever returned alive. Even so, you really must listen to people until they're done speaking. This catalog, 
is an inventory of all works in the labyrinth. It is essentially a guide to our curio, you see. The Catalogue Obscura. Th this is a catalogue of the labyrinth? <sighs> so, Adam, what exactly does it say? <laughs> no need to grumble, Count. Sure enough, the nine curio you seek are described within its pages. And as I thought, the wardrobe is one. It appears the catalogue obscura itself is yet another. For the sake of convenience, let us refer to the nine as the curio de art. Ah, I knew it. That man-eating wardrobe is one of them. To think this catalogue is another with this recent acquisition, I've obtained two of the nine curio d'art. Well done, madam. No, madam witch. <laughs> of course, of course. It's unlikely there's been anyone else that's produced results of this magnitude. Can I take that as your approval to hire these two? Very well. I'll permit that assistant girl and this lantern soul or whatever it is you call it to remain here. I am the owner of Galeria Manor. My name is Lord Bismarck de Florzet, Count of Old. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, I'm Eureka de Soleil. I'm silly and clumsy, but I'll do my best. You'll... No, the two of you shall be Madame Marta's assistants. Your purpose is to collect curio. Yay! Thank you ever so much. I won't let you down. Well, I'd appreciate it if we discussed the finer details over dinner, my lord. When you get to my age, hunger is no laughing matter. Though I've already told the madam, I suppose it would be best if the two of you were made aware as well. There is an old tale about the manor. Much of it is hearsay, so I know not whether it'll help you with your explorations. I... I understand. This rotunda was built roughly 300 years ago as a villa for the peerage to hold their nightly banquets. However, they built it in a remote area, and the place quickly fell out of use. Shortly after, an eccentric noble purchased the manor. This noble was the last master of the Galeria Manor, the Marquis de Galeria. The Marquis supposedly possessed a unique taste in art and he added peculiar works to his collection as he discovered them. He began to use the manor as his personal cabinet of curiosities. In all likelihood, he enjoyed spending time amongst his novelties. But the story goes that as his collection grew, he soon began to notice several pieces within it had mysterious powers. The curio. Apparently, mishandling certain curio could result in death. But the Marquis was rumored to have been quite happy to conduct research. Rumors began to spread across the land, eventually reaching the ears of greedy hearts. At this point, the Marquis de Galeria was about to break a certain taboo. What do you call a demonic pact, no? A... Uh, a demon? <laughs> Demons are supposedly the embodiment of evil. They're inhuman entities that go against the natural order of the universe. That's correct. In exchange for his very soul, the Marquis de Galeria gained the aid of a demon. That's how desperate he was to protect his collection of curio. Using the demon's powers, he turned the space beneath Galeria Manor into a giant gallery. No into a giant, twisting labyrinth. A labyrinth, huh? But as it neared completion, the Marquis gradually came to his senses, and in a moment of clarity, devised a plan. Wh what did he do? He sealed the labyrinth, demon and all. It's said that the demon is still here, expanding the labyrinth to this very day. 
Or so the story goes. That's an interesting tale. But there's something I find a little strange about it. How has a centuries-old story been passed down as if someone witnessed it firsthand? It almost sounds like a work of fiction. Yes, that is a popular opinion. Most have written it off as an exaggeration. Idle gossip to stir up public interest. But you really believe in it. I do. That's why I bought this half-forgotten place, fixed it up, and sought out people to conduct an exploration of the labyrinth. Good grief. Yet another stray? Where are they all coming from? Anyhow, that was the situation until about three months ago, when the good madam... Ah, I mean, Madam Witch arrived. <laughs> A witch can't ignore rumors when magical objects are on the line, can she? That is, to the extent of my knowledge, the complete history of Galeria Manor. I'm getting a little scared. Ah, yes. Before I forget, you are to turn in all curio discovered underground to me. Is that understood? Yes, yes, I'm aware. Do you want a report every time we find one, too? That won't be necessary. But do report to me immediately if you discover any of the curio de art. Find the nine. Well... I suppose the man-eating wardrobe and the catalog obscura are two of them. In that case, your task is to find and collect the remaining seven curio de art for me. I will pay for each one you bring back. Well, that's very generous of you. But why are you so fixated on these nine in particular? <clears throat> my, my. Looks like I might have overstepped. Rest assured, Count. I like to think I know my place. Now, if bringing them all together would let you make a wish for eternal life, even I might be interested. <laughs> By the way, I intend to use the catalog and the wardrobe. Is that fine with you? Yes, as long as you use them for your exploration, that's fine. However, they are to remain within the manor. And whatever you do, be sure to prioritize collecting the Curio de Art. I'll be needing funds as we officially begin investigating. Could you supply some capital to cover the exploration expenses? Very well. I'll prepare 100 gold coins as starting capital. A hundred gold coins, huh? That's about 10,000 silver. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Oh, and I'll be needing an alchemy pot so we can make some headway. Could you provide a cauldron? Do you require any particular type? Just a regular iron one will be fine. It'll need to be reinforced to resist curses, but I'll take care of that. In that case... Feel free to take anything you might need from the kitchen. You have free reign there as well, but I'd like to request that we don't end up with poison frogs for dinner, or the like. <laughs> I'll make good use of it. And don't worry, I would never serve frogs. It would be bat wings or eye of newt, if anything. Well then, Fanti. Y yes Not you. I said fancy, didn't I? When you go underground tomorrow, let's see. I want you to collect some scrap iron and medicinal herbs to make the alchemy pot. When Fanti finds what we need, I want you to call it back. Understand, Missy? Ye yes, ma'am! Scrap iron and medicinal herbs. The scrap iron is just some kind of metal? And the medicinal herb is... Yes, yes, you got it. Just keep continuing as you have. 
think of it as babysitting some brat. <laughs> I might not look it, but I'm really good with kids. They're so cute. I can never get enough of how adorable they are. Ah, <sighs> will this truly be all right? I'm getting a little worried. Oh, that's right. Now that you brought it up, I saw a kid when I first arrived. But does she not live here? I haven't seen her since. A child? In a place like this? Yes, a little girl. She was wearing some clothes that didn't look like they were from around here. But I frightened her away. I'll need to make friends with her next time. A child? Ah. Uh. You must be referring to one of the orphans that wander about. Let me be clear on the matter. You aren't to let any children in the building. And before I forget, my lord, I'm staying in the basement beneath the tribuna at the moment. But I had the little Missy use one of the free rooms. Do as you please. I'm a busy man, you see. I'll leave the day-to-day -to, -day to you, Madam Witch. However... I do have a few rules that are not to be broken under any circumstances. R rules You're free to use whatever you need for exploration, but you are not to enter the Northeast Storeroom or the Abandoned Church. Do not enter Northeast Storeroom or Abandoned Church. Under any circumstances. And... As for the stray cat I heard just now, if you come across it, be sure to kill it. Animals and children are pests that do nothing but wreak havoc on works of art. I expect you to eliminate them from the premises. Is that understood? Uh, yes. I beg your pardon? Miss Soleil. Now, now. Fanti takes up her energy as well. It makes her twice as hungry and tired as the average person. Just let her be for today. She'll need her rest for the exploration tomorrow. <sighs> <sighs> Guess I'll be burning the midnight oil to study the catalog. Pot. A big old pot. Hmm, not here. Maybe this isn't the right spot. Ah! Oh, Miss Toba! I heard there was a cauldron here, but I've had no luck finding it. Oh, oh! So that was you, Miss. <laughs> Sorry I scared you. No, no, it's quite alright. 
It's actually the ghost child that makes me so jumpy. Ghost child? Wait, do you mean... Yes, it's just what you think. Like a door opening and closing by itself, or hearing footsteps in the other room. <laughs> oh, anyway. Did you need something? Uh, yes. I'm trying to find a cauldron. Oh, a cauldron. That's what you need. We don't use ours too often, so it's kept in the, uh, storeroom? I I'm a bit busy today. Would you mind if I got it for you another time? Well, Madam Granny made it sound urgent. It's okay. I'll get it from the storeroom myself. I see. My apologies for the inconvenience. Feel free to grab it on your own. If you just wait a moment, I'll write you a note. Perfect! Thanks so much, Miss Toba! <laughs> It isn't exactly a storeroom. Well, anyway, here's the note. Give this to the man there, and he'll know what to do. Is this... a map? So if I follow this, I can find it! Thank you so much for drawing it out for me! I'll be off then! Uh, also? I ask that you don't mention this to the Count. He's a busy man. We don't want to bother him. Noir! You again, pesky cat. Oh. Was that all just a dream? Um, Fanti. Looks like you're not back yet. Sleep. That won't do. I gotta stay awake. Okay. In that case, I'll just do some cleaning until Fanti returns. <laughs> I haven't cleaned like this in a while. I'm so excited. I'm so happy today. I'm sure it's gonna be a beautiful day. Hmm. I can't reach the top of that window. But that's okay. I'll wipe down every spot I can reach. Miss Toba! I took the bucket and wash rag. I hope that's okay. Oh. Alrighty, miss. That's quite fine. But why are you using them? <laughs> I'm off to do some cleaning! I've got ice-cold water and warm sunshine. It's a beautiful day for some tidying up. T tidying up? If there's cleaning to be done, I'll handle it. <laughs> nice! It's all clean now. The windows look so good. They'll sparkle in the sun. I'm sure everyone will be pleased to see it. Well, I finished with this hallway. So next up is the east side. Huh? W wait, I thought I heard a child's footsteps. Are you back? Oh, you're back! Welcome home! I've been waiting so long for you to come back! Hmm? Oh, I know! You found what you were looking for, right? That's incredible! In that case, let's go to Madam Granny right away! Huh? Huh? Aren't you that girl from last time? <laughs> we meet again! Say, what's your name? Uh... Huh? Uh, uh, y your name... I don't care, stupid!
taking a nap in a place like this? I see that our treasure pile has grown. Has Fanti returned? M Madam Granny, the, the little girl. Little girl? There's no one here. Goodness, now's not the time to mumble nonsense. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> not bad, Fanti. Truly, these will serve as perfect ingredients for the alchemy pot. Good job, Fanti! It appears to have gotten the hang of its new job. Oh, by the way, at one point it felt like I was talking to someone underground. What was it again? Mm, well, I don't remember, but... Mm... Ah, is that so? Underground beings capable of conversation, eh? That's rather peculiar. Well then, in addition to collecting ingredients, if you obtain any information about these new beings, please report them to us as well. Ah, also, I have found something while studying the Catalogue Obscura. It's for the best that both of you know about it. According to the catalog, among the various works of art stored underground, there are a total of 35 known as Curio. As we went over last night, nine of these are special Curio that we refer to as Curio de Art. It is these nine that the Count has requested. That's right. That being said, both the man-eating wardrobe and the catalog are curio de art, so there are seven left. The Count is not very interested in regular curio, so moving forward, we will prioritize finding these curio de art in our expeditions. So we don't have to gather all 35 of them? It'd bother me a bit if we didn't collect them all. It'd be more satisfying if we did, right? <laughs> Remember, we're the hired help. Our priority is to aid in the Count's request. And so there you have it, Fanti. The long and short of it is to focus on your main task, finding the Curio de Art. All right, Fanti. Let's hop to it and find those curious darts. Yeah! Stupid girl. First, you need to get more ingredients and more info about that underground being. All must be done in the proper order. <laughs> I got in trouble. Okay then, let's find the iron scrap and work on gathering intel on that chatty person. Now you have it. If that's all, then be on your way. All right, Fanti. Have a safe trip. path Miss Toba told me to take was... First you head out from the West End, and... Is this it? She said the path out back through the forest was faster, but... Is this the right way? Oh... <sighs> village nearby? Oh. oh yeah! I was hoping to visit the home of someone named Cognac and the village up ahead. Do you know where it is? Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. Well, I'm... My name's Eureka. I work at the mansion nearby, but... I know. Huh? You know me? No. I know where old man Cognac lives. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> The village isn't that way. Want me to show you? Would you? Thanks so much! If you don't mind, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, sure. The name's Patch. This is Romal. He's my lackey. Well then, Sir Patch and Sir Romal. It's so nice to meet you both. Sh sure. Y yeah. Hey, do you two play in the forest very often? 
No. We were chasing Count when we ended up here. Count? Wait, do you mean Count Bismont? What? What? What are you talking about? No, Count's a black cat. A black cat. Oh, you mean Noir the black cat. Yeah, that's the one probably. Count the black cat. It's also Mio and Marquis de Galeria. Seems like it gets a new name wherever it goes. Marquis de Galeria. You mean like the legend? Yeah. The black cat is said to be the missing Marquis, transformed by a demon. Marquis de Galeria went missing? I don't know the details. Anyway, if you're heading to the village, go west from here. This bridge acts like a landmark. Be careful, Patch. At night, a man-faced bird's wings are flapping. Why does it have red eyes? Why such big wings? It's to find and haul folks off for snacking. Wow, you're such a good singer. What's that song called? No clue. Wait, you've never heard it? N no, I'm from a place way north of here. I just started work at the manor, so I don't know much about these parts. Huh? Then I'd be careful if I were you. A man-faced bird shows up around here, just like in the song. Rumor says it lives in the forest. Anyway, I gotta take a piss. Hey, Ro, let's play shootsies. Okay. <laughs> there we go. S Sir Patch, your pants. Hey, Patch, pull up your pants. R right. Hey, you're not a noble, are you? <laughs> Actually, I am. Oh, I see. Uh, miss? <laughs> Well, I'm only barely a noble, so you can talk to me however you want. Besides, I'm not so good with the formal stuff. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Wow! I didn't expect a place like this to be just outside the forest. <laughs> My secret shortcut. Anyway, over there is the old man's place. Thanks! You were a great help! Oh, I know! I should give you a thank you gift. That's right. I have some cookies in my pocket that Miss Toba gave me. Please, help yourself. <laughs> Thanks. How about you? Huh? M me? I I'm fine. I'm not hungry. Oh, by the way. There's also a little girl at the manor. If you see her, please try to become friends with her too. A girl? Well, well. What brings a young noblewoman out to a place like this? Uh, old man! This girl, I mean, this miss, says she has business with you. You have business with me? Don't tell me the boy did something wrong. Not at all. Sir Pat showed me how to get here. He's been extremely helpful. Hmm, I see. The cauldron in the manor, huh? I've been making some minor repairs on it. I, I should be able to finish it today, though. So I'll bring it up to the manor once I'm done. Huh? You'll bring it for me? Thank you, Mr. Cognac! I was so worried. I didn't know what to do if it was too heavy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be a bit difficult for you. Uh, rest assured, I'll deliver it to the manor soon. Hey, Patch, escort the young lady home. Uh, that's way too much trouble. Keep talking that way and I'll be sure to tell your mother. Uh, okay. Come on, let's get this over with. 
Hold on. Speaking to a noble woman like that? Oh, I asked him to speak casually with me. Sir Patch and I are dear friends. <laughs> I'm not sure I could get home on my own. So he'd really be a big help. Is that so? Well, as long as you're fine with it. Hey, Patch. You better be on your best behavior. Okay. We're here. Thank you, Sir Patch. Sh sure. You too, Sir Ramal. Y yeah. Let's go, Ro. out on a small errand. I'll go inside right now, so please wait just a bit longer. I'm home, Madam Granny! What is it? I didn't even know you went out. Yes, I went to the village to find the cauldron. It's still being repaired, but I was told it'd be brought back today. Well then, once that cauldron shows up, we'll use what Fancy brought back and make an alchemy pardon. Until then, let's have you continue searching for Curio and hunting down information about that talking being. Oh, but there may not be much more for Fanti to explore. Well, as far as I can see, at least. Again? What exactly is the current situation? Um, there's a place that's sort of like a swamp. I think we could move forward if we could get past it. A swamp, eh? That's odd. Puppet soldiers should be able to get through any old swamp with no problem. But if it's giving them so much trouble, then it's likely due to a curse. Or perhaps a powerful miasma. Well, if it's a curse, I can handle it using the alchemy pot and what you've retrieved. You're the best, Madam Granny! You can really create anything, huh? <laughs> That's because my specialty as a witch is alchemical magic. Now, how's this? Very well. That will do for now. Let me know if you still get stuck in there. Alrighty then! Have a safe trip, Fanti!
experience. experience.
course I have experience. Oh, it's you. Sorry about all that. There's some strange old bat that's been staying at the manor, yapping about needing a cauldron. I heard she's a witch. A witch? In this day and age? Do you think someone's on to us? No, we should be fine, I think. Did that girl suspect anything? I don't think she'll be a problem. I told her I've been holding on to the cauldron for repairs. Repairs? Huh. I didn't expect such quick thinking from you. Should we return the rest of the dinnerware? It's probably all right. That old witch only needs the cauldron for some witchy business. The Count is a widower, like you. Works of art are one thing, but I know he wouldn't miss a few pieces of dinnerware. Don't tell me. You and the Count? What are you talking about? Anyway, it's been a little creepy around here lately. I hear a child's footsteps, even when I'm alone. There are also rumors that a dead kid was found nearby not too long ago. I don't want to stick around longer than I have to. Huh? Oh, it's the Count. Hey, stop by the house later. You're hungry again, right? Wow! <sighs> If only Patch were this obedient. <laughs> if only, huh? Meow. Oh. <sighs> huh? You're back, Fanti? <laughs> I ended up nodding off. Hmm? Is Madame Granny upstairs? Huh? Where is she? Oh! It's you again! Uh, hey! Oh, wait a second! Let's talk for a bit! Hello! Where did you come from? Uh... My name's Eureka! What's yours? I'd be really happy if you shared your name with me. Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Perico's Perico! Always will be! Oh, your name's Perico? What a cute name! So what? Wha wait! Perico, please listen, okay? The master of the manor really doesn't like kids. You'll be in big trouble if you go in without asking. How about we play outside? Get out of my way, stupid! Barry? Messi? You there, Messi? If you can hear me, get over here! Y yes Oh, Fanti's back. Yep, yep. It met the one underground that can speak. I think. You didn't see them? Hmm. Do you think something's blocking you? Oh, n no. It's my fault. I fell asleep. That's all? It's fine. Our exploration is just getting started. You'll have more opportunities from here on out. <laughs> Sorry, Fanti. Oh, that's right. Madam Granny, I just saw that little girl again. Did she come this way? Is that right? Did she say anything? No. Oh, wait. She did tell me her name. It's Perico. Isn't that cute? <laughs> really now? So you managed to see her, hmm? I guess it can't be helped if she already told you her name. S see? D do you mean sh she's a ghost? <laughs> what are you on about, ghost? That girl's my granddaughter. Well, 
You could call her my assistant, too. What? That's who that little girl was? Oh, you could have just told me from the start. That's not very nice of you. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I'd have her run errands for me. But you know how the Count dislikes children. I told her to stay out of sight as much as possible. It shouldn't have been so easy for you to catch a glimpse of her, and yet... If you see her again, please be nice to her. I'm talking to you too, Fanti. <laughs> well, they're both hatchlings. Whether it's one or two doesn't really make that much of a difference, does it? Well, now that the cauldron's all ready, we can perform some alchemy. Alchemy? What's that? Alchemy's alchemy. Put simply, it's a technique that requires you to sever the bonds of something in the universe and reconnect them in a different medium to convert matter. Y universe Medium? This cauldron doesn't look medium-sized to me. <sighs> I've reinforced this cauldron with magic to draw a binding crest directly on the bonds that hold matter together. Uh, I see! I don't really get it, but I do know all this just shows how amazing you are, Madam Granny! <laughs> what are you talking about? You'll be doing this too. Anyone can do alchemy as long as they learn the correct steps. I've written down some instructions here. Cram them into your head tonight. Huh? Huh? Wh what do you mean I'm doing this too? Of course. I'll handle the difficult ones. But it'll be your job to take care of Fanti's specific requests. But, but if I can help Fanti in any way, I'll do my best. Your training will start after dinner. You'll learn this even if it takes all night.